Alrighty, time to break down some more Marauders attacks. So for this one, you can see here, this is not a huge Marauders team. It's only 391k. I fought this today in our war against uh, Sigma. And basically they have, uh, you know, standard defense, but it's a little bit odd, I think, with the way that they arranged it here. Putting Sinister in the middle is not a bad idea. Uh, and then putting Emma and Mystique out here on the end. Yeah, it could work. Uh, but let's get into it. Um, so my team that I'm taking this time is, of course, X-Force, as you can see from the title of the video. And my X-Force is only 340k, so this is a pretty good punch up. Um, just a little bit, but you can see here I do have a very large X-23. She is 91k, and my Deadpool is pretty good size at 81k. The other three are around 54 to 60, so not too huge, but, you know, that's kind of similar to what the enemy team's makeup is, is having a couple of big characters in... Uh, Sinister and then oh, I guess Sabretooth and Mystique are pretty big but in any case uh, it's a fairly good punch up 390k so it's about 50k difference in power between the two of them but I just want to demonstrate alternative options for this everybody's saying you know just use Fantastic Four variants on Marauders, and I mean there are other options X-Force can work you don't have to just use them on Mercs and Asgardians because X-Force is one of the best attack teams in the game right now and probably top three I would say um, they can they can take this fight just fine so I want to demonstrate this on a, a good punch up not a huge one uh, but you can see here they get a ton of turn meter on spawn just like the usual in war it's just how it is um, so they're going to have an opportunity here to do a lot of things. Um, so notice here, they all have boosts from the, or the deflects from boosts, right? They get the defense up from Emma. And so what we're going to see is uh, the Negasonic alt isn't really going to do a whole lot because <laughs> of all that, right? So it only does about 20 to 23k damage. And you can see here, Mystique actually dodged it because she spawned with Evade. Uh, but we do need to get rid of that anyway. So this is a good opening move. Uh, clear a couple of deflects uh, from all of the team, and then we'll get into it. So the next thing is, and this is a bit RNG, right? The Domino ult will apply Disrupt, right? And so we want to target Strife so that he can't taunt. And with the Deflex, he does have a 50-50 chance of potentially just ignoring it uh, from the block. But in this case, it did apply, so that's good for me. So there's a small RNG factor there. But uh, I don't know that it would necessarily make a huge difference. But the nice thing is, is because uh, Sabretooth and Sinister were within two spots, they both got hit with that uh bullet from Domino's ult. So it does a little damage to Sinister, who's really our primary target here. Once he's gone, team is relatively easy to finish off. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, Sabretooth goes ahead and hits uh, Cable with the <clears throat> uh, passive as well as Mystique. And now we're going to see here the X-23 special comes up before um, the Sinister clones, right? So, uh, <laughs> you'll see here. Now, one thing I love about this is whenever they boost Marauders and I'm going, or whoever, and I'm going at them with, uh, with uh, X-Force team, it's great because I just know that X-23's special is going to do so much damage because it auto blocks on that first hit and then she swipes again for an enormous amount of damage and you'll see here 59k with the block and then another 143k on a crit now so that is a crit which is you know a little bit of an rng thing but applying the ability block is not rng and essentially we just shut down their clone factor so that we don't have to worry about them you know getting their own x23 or getting a cable who's going to screw with your turn meter or something or a negasonic who's going to you know hit everybody <laughs> um you know it, it's 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 a good start and then the other thing here is you can see the auto taunt from strife because sinister fell below half health um so what we're going to do is do the Deadpool ult, and I'm hoping that he swings over and hits that Sinister, but unfortunately it did not get lucky there, because I think I think if he had ulted into Sinister just one time on that rebound chain, I think that would have killed him. But that's okay. We start with uh, Charge in War Attack with the uh, Cable, so of course we want to use his special. And the reason why we use his special is because it does dispel buffs. So that'll remove the taunt off of Strife, and because Sinister was so low and only two spots away, the uh, extra damage from from that attack hit him and cleared him, actually. 
So that was nice. And now we're back to another Strife Taunt because Sabertooth dropped. So we're going to do the X-23 ult, which you can see here goes entirely into Sabertooth. <laughs> and, uh, and then we get the Mystique ult. Well, it's three on five, but then a uh, Mystique ult deleted cable. So we have to uh, deal with that. And now what we're going to get is an Emma uh, cleanse immunity and uh she does the mass slow but uh, everybody on my team has deflects or evades and so amazingly the only one that gets hit with it is domino who's supposed to be lucky but eh, you know what are you gonna do uh, <laughs> and uh we're stuck on a strife taunt still but that's fine because negasonic special will remove it again and that's what i love about this team against marauders is there's so many options to delete that taunt from strife so that you can focus somebody else if you want to or just keep blasting away at him and take him out i mean it works so well and look at this deadpool's about to do a special 161k crit right there just absolutely deletes strife um, and now it's just pretty easy cleanup uh, we got four on two and one of them's really not going to do a ton of damage uh, the it, this is kind of surprising here uh, emma's ult uh, called a negasonic and x23 to hit deadpool and somehow it didn't kill him uh, he does get the blind, though, which means he's going to heal off of it next turn, which is always nice. And from here, we're just going to basic and whatever uh, to kill Emma and finish off Mystique here in a little bit. Uh, let's see. So Deadpool got a little bit of health back from that. Um, he does his basic. Mystique does her basic. They're trying to kill Negasonic for some reason. And uh, now here I'm making a decision of do I want to ability block Mystique? And I think, well, wait a sec. She just did her ult. Uh, and then did a basic. I think we're one turn away from her doing a uh, ability. So I didn't want to waste it there. So I just opted for the basic on Emma. And we'll continue getting her down. And then we'll finish up Mystique. No problem. Um, let's see. We'll do a basic there. One thing that's nice about Domino is you do have the option. Um, if you're trying to clear through deflects and stuff. Her basic calls in an assist from somebody on the team. Uh, always so if you ever need to like clear a couple deflects for an, to set up another attack you can always use her basic instead of one or like her special uh, which isn't always necessary um, so in this one here you'll see x23 just obliterates mystique uh, but doesn't quite kill her that was 130k damage i think between those two hits uh, so that's pretty pretty huge and uh, here uh, I was checking to see if a single rebound chain attack would do as much damage as a basic, and it doesn't if you get the secondary attack on a uh, on the basic. So that was a pretty easy win on a 50k punch up. Uh, I feel like I could go a lot higher than that. The Sinister was their largest character, and he was the first one to die, uh, but I was also targeting him. And as you can see there, as long as you land that Disrupt on Strife, um, you can prevent him from stealing focus away and get that ability block on Sinister, which is crucial to winning this fight. They didn't get a clone, and whenever you fight Marauders and they don't get a clone, uh, you're going to be in great position. So I think this is an excellent team as a counter to Marauders. It is a very powerful team, however, so using it on them may not be optimal. You really need to look at your war strategy as an alliance and think, well, you know, let's say, you know, we got Black Order on offense. Well, what are they going to kill? Are they going to kill gigantic Asgardians? Are they going to kill gigantic Mercs? Uh, half and half. Uh, what, what are you targeting, right? Um, generally, those would be your two best matchups. With X-Force, though, they're, I mean, well, obviously, Black Order can kill almost anything. However, as you can see here, my, my alliance mate uh, failed on a pretty sizable punch-up of 80k against the same Marauders team. Um, but with X-Force, I mean, there's not a whole lot of teams they can't kill, <laughs> you know? Um, as, as far as uh, it, all that goes, X-Force can take out Asgardians. They can take out Mercs. They can take out Marauders, as I've just demonstrated. Uh, they can kill most everything if you know the kill orders correctly. Uh, I did a 200k punch-up against defenders with them a while back when they were still pretty small. Um they can delete a lot of things off the table. And so you gotta think about like, well, where, where are they best suited? And um, I think Mercs is probably your most important thing to kill with them. But I think this can actually work against uh, Emirators as well, if they're really 
big, right? So you can you can punch up on either one of them with your X Force, and it's just a matter of figuring out what's best. But the nice thing about this is, is if you're trying to speed clear, say the armory early on in a war, um, you technically could have two different teams to kill Emirators uh, between you know Fantastic Four and X Force, and take out those harder matches and let your other alliance mates concentrate on some of the easier ones if, if you feel more capable. So just keep this in mind. I think this is a really good counter. Uh, I'll try to test it a little bit higher um, next war or two, depending on what we get as a matchup. I'm pretty sure after our next war, I will have several wars where I can I can do a lot of testing and get some good, good information. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but as I get them, I will certainly make more videos, show more counters, and continue doing this. Uh, every night, I've got it scheduled to release a video either like this with me doing commentary or just general uh, good music and uh, showing the fights in their uh, simplest form and showing how I beat them and my kill orders and what I do. So be sure to check those out and uh, give me a follow, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. Uh, if you enjoyed this channel, uh, please follow me and uh, come check out my Twitch channel for when I stream. And we'll have some fun and listen to some good music. All right. Y'all have a good night. I'll see you later.